I hate for him to go out that way. I knew if I turned on the recording, you guys would shut up. <laughs> and you know what else about you know what else with Kanye that I agree with? Oh, you know what else about Kanye I agree with? Oh, we're recording? Okay, okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind, never mind. I want to know. Yeah, Arwen wants to know. <laughs> uh, I want to know why I'm so red in this this whole thing right here. Do I look red to you guys? I might Maybe pass pink. out. Pink. Pink. You look pink. Very pink. Very. Yeah. I'm not you pointing look... at my skin tone. I'm I'm giving you, you like answers my... of why you look so red. Hey, hey, you know, he looks like so... my thumb. Like everybody's like, into like, that spray like, tan now, so maybe it's too much bronzer. <laughs> Yo, <Luke. laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yeah, right, it's crazy, bro. You're crazy right now. How about that? A little bit That's, you're you're crazy. Like that that I, one was. I, I thought the pink was a nice shade. <laughs> Serenity now. He said. He Here we go. Said you were doing blackface. Like I think it's, uh, I'm matching my uh, my pink microphone here. I think right, you look great, Jeremiah. I'm gonna be honest. You look really good this year. You look great. You look fit. You look great. Your hair looks amazing. I'm gonna be honest. You look and great. that's hair under the hat. Oh, no, that was a real thing. Oh, you were talking to Jeremiah. My fault. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, like, I, there's no controlling this group at all. I'm going to just start the show. We're already in it. We're this is the thing. Right. the ninth annual Thanksgiving show here on the Jeremiah Show, and of course, Big Lou. It wouldn't be Thanksgiving without Big Lou joining me. We've been doing this for nine years now, Big Lou. Good to see you, my friend. And yeah, good to see you. And it's it's been a long, long, tough uh, year for me, but you know, I'm I'm very be grateful to still be to be here and to celebrate with good people like everyone that's here on the show today so uh happy thanksgiving to everybody that's on the show with us now and to everyone that's going to be listening and seeing this happy thanksgiving to you all yeah yeah well said corin nemic uh i i, I uh <laughs> hold on one second here so corin is joining us from where florida yes outside of uh st pete Outside of St. Pete, Florida, and that's where you live, huh? Yeah, couple of, uh, uh, about a, about a three minute drive from the beach, just like I like it. You know what? I just did. I just say your last name wrong, Corin. Is it Nemec? Nemec is fine. Nemec. It's it, it, it's been it's been mispronounced <laughs> since my family first landed on Ellis Island. So, well, wait till he gets to me, Corin. It, it, you'll have some solidarity. I'm sure he'll get my name wrong. Yeah, too. I'm gonna mess up. <laughs> Every single one of you. I'm so sorry, all, both of you, but I think my name is going to take the cake. I'm so sorry. To okay. Everyone. I'm so sorry to everyone else. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Jeremiah. I guess Big Lou's the only one who's getting off scot free here. Big Lou, I can, yeah, I can do that one. I can do that. Well, one. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. We'll oh. see how the show goes. That's an airplane. This could hey, be. Is that, is that Camilla Cleese flying in there, Andres? Actually, it's helicopters. All right. So, Corin. He's an actor, he's a producer, a writer, a graffiti artist. I didn't know this about him. Oh, that's and he, my work right behind me. Oh, is that? Hey, there we go. That's right behind. Check it out on uh, YouTube. B beautiful artwork. What, <laughs> do, what, are we, uh, what are we showing there? What kind of art you got happening behind you, Corey? Oh, uh, this is just in my man cave. I just painted the inside of the garage wall. Uh, I have a little office off to the other side over there. So this side, I just... I've decorated all the way across with just, uh, you know, just a traditional sort of fun, vibrant graffiti with some flowers and stuff and give it a little bit of a, you know, a, a nature feel. But, uh, you know, it's fun. It's good times. I'm liking an adventure. it. I'm liking it. Well, you're also a traveling man. What does that mean? You just love to travel? <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. I travel often, as a matter of fact. Yep. Well, you got a new movie coming out, Dead Man's Hand. I can't wait to see it. It looks like it's everybody uh, that's in Yellowstone, which that I'm sold, man. I'm there. It, 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 tell us a little bit about the movie real quick. Uh, well, De Dead Man's Hand, uh, I, I did a film with Brian Skiba, who's the director and, and the co-writer on it, uh, along with myself. Um, we did a film together years ago that I produced with him. I didn't produce on Dead Man's Hand. I was just uh, uh, the co-writer on it. I wrote the the initial uh, script, and um, but we did a, a film called Rotten Tale that was based on a graphic novel by the same company, Source Point Press, that published uh, Dead Man's Hand, 
And uh, it's, a, it's a horror comedy about um, a, a scientist who gets bitten by a rabid um, bunny in his lab at, while he's working on a, a fertility serum and he ends up turning into a half man, half rabbit, a la, you know, a, a la uh, the fly. And uh, it's, it's a very, biz- a very uh, a bizarre uh, film. But that said, we had a great time. And, I, and when we circled back with Source Point years later, they wanted to do one of their Westerns and uh, uh, from their graphic novel collection. And this was one of them. It's a great one. It's, just, it's a three part series. I don't know if I'll write any, any more after this, but I had a great time writing the uh, you know, uh, the initial draft based on the graphic novel. It was, uh, you know, we, we were under a lot of financial constraints to get that movie made, uh, as, as anybody can imagine. But uh, but I think it turned out good. It's it, it's uh, it's a nice uh, classic approach to a Western. Nice. When can we see it? Can uh, it's available it? now. It's been out for a while. You can find it all over the place. It's got, uh, uh, you know, um, I, I can't. I, I don't even know which platform it was on. Amazon. It was on the, the Apple. It was on. It was on every platform. You know, so. So that's what you do on Thanksgiving to make sure that Corin can come back and do the next two parts. Go and go and support it. <laughs> well, welcome, man. Good <laughs> to have you here. I know you're going to be on next week. We're going to talk all about the movie a little bit more in depth. Uh, I want to welcome yeah. also Tehran. I did it right, Tehran. It said Tehran right. The Tehran part, you're close enough that I'm not. What were you worried about? You don't even need to say the last name. Just don't even get to the last name. Just let it go. Just what let is it go. Von Goss. Von Goss. Von Goss is one. a very good one. There you go. Corin had it. I appreciate that so much. Um, thank you for having me, Jeremiah. You know, I'm a huge fan of both your show, your. Uh, restaurantness you know I, because if i remember this is you're 30 years into restaurants right now right or no closing in on 40 but um not counting at all uh, but I, last year i found that out last you year say that, <laughs> you say you're a fan of the show what's the last you what's the last one you listened to last Thanksgiving? um no <laughs> the last one i listened to was actually you had um I, I listen to first of all. I listen. I used to listen yeah, to the show go. a lot. I used to <laughs> the sports lounge. I used to get into the sports lounge where you guys because I would use. I would make my picks based on that's, who you guys would choose. Just to let you know. <laughs> that's not my show though. That's Big. Lou's I know show. that's Big Lou's show. But you were yeah, on it. You were show. on it. You were on it a lot. You know what I'm saying? But no, no. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. But the last one. But yeah, he was. I know he was because. All, honestly, his picks were always the worst. They always lost me money. But whatever, we're not talking about that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about football. What I mean, and, <laughs> and, and Jeremiah's show, actually, I'll tell you the one that I actually stick out and I actually support a lot is when you had John Cleese on because as a comedian, John Cleese, who Camilla's going to be here, that's her dad. But the John Cleese one, you actually have one of the best interviews with John Cleese because it was it, you got to like some real stuff. People usually, he just like says a lot of jokes, but you get to a lot of real stuff. So just Thanks to let so you know. But that's uh, probably the last one. And I, I, I do listen to sports lounge. I do listen to sports lounge. <laughs> Big Lou knows who you're talking about. Well, you know, the sports lounge hasn't been on for six months, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> I know it hasn't, and that's uh, this year. I haven't had anything this year. I, that was my go-to during COVID. That was my go-to. <laughs> COVID. That was like two years ago. Hey, yeah, I'm going really <laughs> back because of the, the tomato color of my face, you know, and you know, you made fun of me, so I'm just more I'm, raspberry than tomato. Back. Uh, Either way, Bronzer. delicious. You look good. He does. He looks factory. tasty. He needs some whipped cream. Yeah. I do. <laughs> Whoa! This is taking a turn, guys. This is taking a turn. <laughs> Did you say pasties? I need pasties. Pasties and whipped cream is the last <laughs> thing I heard. Change the subject. Are you still, are you still at the hey, Laugh Bronzer. Factory every Thursday at 10? I'm every Thursday, tear on Thursdays at the Laugh Factory. When I'm in town, definitely there. Either way, it's still my show. It's a one wonderful, fun, the funnest show in Los Angeles, uh, according to Entertainment Weekly. So definitely come check it out. I, you are hilarious. I look forward to talking to you and listening to your podcast all the time as well. I appreciate you. <laughs> Andras Jones, how you doing over there, my friend? Are you watching the planes come in today? Yeah, and I'm just—I just want to avoid uh, the cross examinations. I—I am not a fan. I never listen. No. Thank you. Uh, but I love you. I appreciate you, and I love being a guest. But I—I—I I, uh, I, and but I uh, and I don't. I'm not. Don't have any sports betting going on. So unfortunately, I don't. I can't make uh, make use of the sports lounge. Although it sounds like a very welcoming place. 
Um, yeah, you know, you invited me here to be a to be your uh, your curmudgeon, so I'm I'm doing my best <laughs> to just start off on the wrong foot, and we'll just stay on that one throughout. Curmudgeon for all seasons. That that's a good album by Andras. Yeah, Jones. but there's no there's no season like the one that began that began with the end of Halloween and ends sometime after the first week of January to uh, bring out the curmudgeon in those of us who have that uh, that strain in our uh, I don't know our constitution. Well, you know what Andres likes to talk about, guys. If you if you have any questions about Nightmare on Elm Street, <laughs> oh no, I love to talk about synchronicity. I have to talk about Nightmare on Elm Street. So lay it on, lay, you know. <laughs> every time I get Andres comes on, I start talking about Nightmare, and he's like, "Oh my God, I've answered every question I'm ever going to answer about Nightmare." Um, so if you got your questions for Andres, because I've run out of them, uh, uh, yeah. you know, my, my, my one of my favorite Nightmare on Elm Streets, I, I got to say, because I'm a huge Sorry, fan of, of of Nightmare on. <laughs> But my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street was the one, I forget which one it was, but it was filmed at Venice High School, which is my alma mater. That's the fourth one. That's the one he's yeah. in. See, That's the one I'm in. Go. Yeah, I played Rick, the That's karate the guy. I ran down the hall, and yeah, there's a whole scene where I'm <laughs> running down the hall like a madman. Yeah. Everyone yeah. makes the jokes yeah. about it. Yeah. And... Yeah. So I mean, that, was my, that was my first day on a legit set in like I had moved out to LA about two years before and I'd done some like low budget, low budget things. But the first day of shooting uh, on Nightmare was that. And I was just, I just remember I was so excited. They had locks at the craft surfaces. And I was like, I've made it. <laughs> I've made it. <laughs> all right. So we're you know, all uh, with, Let me. Uh, that, that Nightmare on Elm Street, I have to say real quick, Dizzle, that Nightmare on Elm Street was filmed oh, yeah. at a, at a classic, film location which you know Greece one and two were both filmed at Venice High School so that is the famous Rydell High from Greece I just want to put that out there I shout didn't know that to, uh, shout out to young John Travolta really it was uh, in Greece tell me yeah. more tell me more yeah Thursdays Thursdays I'll be there okay. <laughs> Thursdays at the Laugh Factory all right, Arwen Lewis, we saved the best for last. Arwen is a singer, a songwriter. Um, you come from a big artistic family, but you don't want me to mention it, do you? I mean, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Her dad is Peter Lewis, Moby Grace, the 60s iconic rock band. Grandma mm -hmm. was Loretta Young. She won an Oscar. Do you have that Oscar anywhere, Arwen? Um, we had it, and then we gave it back to my sister. Yeah. Or no, my dad's sister-in-law. Uh, Rightfully, it actually belongs to us. Oh, I'll get into it. <laughs> yeah. Arwen uh, has a radio show as well. So, uh, Andras, I think you're coming on her show very soon here. Yeah, to talk about uh, my new record. And I'm looking forward to that. Ne next year, do you got a title for it yet, Andras? Yeah, Recognize, Deescalate, and Decode is right. the name of the record. Well, and, we're playing uh, actually uh, No Sense of Humor. Your, oh, your excellent. Okay. Yeah, that's a song that's on the record that I have a video out for with Andy Dick in it with me screaming in his face which is kind of a massive oh my role God. reversal I've, I've in our andy. relationship that's why i've known andy yeah. since the early 90s yeah, yeah he was i met character. he used to crash in my place back when i was like when i was the more successful actor and he just moved out <laughs> from chicago he got kicked out of his place and he stayed with me for like six months and eventually as anyone who's known andy for any time knows that six months is an, an, like a massive amount of time to spend with him and I did have to kick him out <laughs> over a disagreement over a boombox but years later when he became uh, famous all he remembered was that I had put him up and he has done me so many generous solids he is one like he's a he's a, a tragic figure an incredibly brilliant figure but in my this I love to tell people about the, to this about him because yeah. no one hears this about him he's also a tremendously loyal uh friend he's also a, yeah. an impossible nightmare to be friends with but to the extent of who he <laughs> is he is a really uh, a great a, a great friend has been a great friend to me and i make fun of him all the time because he deserves it but i also his public persona is pure asshole which is part of his pure genius anyway i was great it was great to have him in this video called absolutely no sense of humor that people think is about him but it's about another comedian entirely anyway i'm sorry to have uh, hijacked Let's go get back to Arwen and what you were saying, Jeremiah. Well, Arwen, uh, she so she does not follow football. 
And as you can tell, I don't follow it very well either, except when I listen to the Forge uh, Lounge. I do know How the many... difference between a quarterback and a wide receiver and a linebacker. That's a good start. And You're... a touchdown. What do you think? Guys? Which, that's a good start. Well, I have to ask this. Of those three positions you named, which one is on defense? Um, The linebacker. Right. Okay. No. I was getting a little worried there for a second. Okay. Good. We're going to stop right there. We're going to keep where we're ahead. Go ahead, Jeremiah. Got it. <laughs> well, I'm going to toss it to you, Lou, but I was going to ask of all the, of the group here. I, I don't think, Andres, are you a very big sports fan? I'm a huge baseball fan, but that's, I'm, I, I'm a one sport person, uh, but I am from Washington. So I have a, just a natural inclination to be happy when the Huskies are doing well. Uh, so uh, I'm glad to hear that that's the case. Yeah, hey, uh, Big Lou's showing you his uh, his what his shirt. I saw. I was like, okay, this is great. Some solidarity. <laughs> oh, no, you, had oh, I so really took it into consideration, I would have brought my my helmet out that I actually wore while I played at Washington, and it's a very old helmet now. Uh, oh, wow. Those helmets are pretty much illegal. It's so, leather. It's um, <laughs> leather. <laughs> <no face>. Almost. <laughs> almost. <laughs> pretty close. <laughs> Pretty close. Um, yeah, I, you know, like August, I'm very excited. Like Washington's having an amazing season uh, this year, and we have a great opportunity to do something once again that I was fortunate to be a part of when I was at Washington, which is go undefeated and win a national championship. So hopefully, mm -hmm. you know, the dogs can stay the course. Uh, we have a tough Pac 12 championship matchup against the University of Oregon once again, and Bo Nix. And the guy is playing out of his mind right now. I mean, you have to give credit where credit is due. Um, he's going to have an amazing NFL career, you know, God willing, you know, obviously, you know, barring injury, which is the thing with all of these guys in that case. Uh, but, you know, Washington's quarterback, uh, Michael Penix, is having an amazing season as well. Um, and we can only look forward to him continuing that against University of Oregon. And, you know, we're fortunate enough to get into the college playoffs. Uh, what was the co team. quarterback's name again? At uh, Washington? Yeah. Michael Pinnix Jr. Oh, Pinnix. I thought you said Michael Panix. I said that's a bad name for a co for a quarterback, but Michael Pinnix is great. Pinnix. P-E-N-I-X. Yeah. Yes. Also could be open yourself yeah. to up to, I'm sure he got made fun of until he had his growth spurt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know, well, that happened to a lot of people. Little Michael Penix. Big Lou Penix. I don't know if they said Penix. I don't feel like elementary school kids said Penix. Put the Penix oh, in the don't pants. Say anything. His yeah, name in know. sex ed. His name during sex ed. Listen, this is why he's so good in football. He had to learn how to knock people down. Let's be very honest. Kids are brutal. You know? Thank you. Yeah. Listen, I can. I can I neither confirm nor deny, but that definitely doesn't make sense. <laughs> he was Michael Penis uh, until the until the ninth grade. Let's be very honest. Yeah. He was Michael Penis. Oh, it, at least. At least. I mean, <laughs> ain't no telling what they call him in Washington. You know, those guys are a bunch of jokesters up there for sure as well. That said, uh, Turkey Day football, well, hold my on favorite day of football. Big Lou. Hold on. I want to huh? properly. I, hold on one second. I'm going to turn it all over to you right now. I want to introduce you properly. We got to do it on the other side of the break, though. Okay, we we got to take a real quick commercial break, and I just want to uh, remind everybody: this is the ninth annual Thanksgiving show. We're about to talk uh, turkey and football with Big Lou and a special guest today, Corin Nimick. Uh, um, he's an actor, producer, writer, and a graffiti artist. Very, very good artist there. And I do I, I do jazz hands when I'm uncomfortable. Jazz hands. <laughs> You can find him on Instagram at I'm Corin Nimick. Uh, hey, Ron, he's back for our fourth year, he corrected me, not his third. Um, he's our favorite Thanksgiving comedian and actor. He's at the Laugh Factory every Thursday in L.A. at 10 p.m. Go to IamTehran.com and on Instagram, same, IamTehran. Andras Jones, he's a writer, actor, musician, producer, podcaster, Radio 8 Ball, The World is Wrong, and he's a curmudgeon for all seasons. Go to previouslyyours.com and check out his latest single coming up uh, in a couple breaks here, No Sense of Humor, starring Andy Dick. Camilla Cleese just text me, guys. They are landed, but they're still on the plane. So she hopefully she'll join us, Camilla Cleese, and her father, John Cleese, just landed back in L.A. Welcome back, guys, from the tour. 
they were on tour. It's called An Evening with the Late John Cleese. You can see her on Instagram at Camilla Cleese and on YouTube. Arwen Lewis is here. She's a singer, songwriter, and a guitarist. She's the host of the Arwen Lewis Show. She inhabits our blue planet, but her beliefs belong in the celestial realm. She's the daughter of Peter Lewis. And you can go find her on Instagram at the Arwen Lewis Show at OMAD Records and ArwenLewisMusic.com. And next up, the host of the show, Big, Big Lou, host of the Sports Lounge with Big Lou Radio and CEO of Holy Fit 310 on Instagram at Holy Fit 310. He's a personal trainer and uh, ISSA certified 20 plus years of training. We're going to be right back talking about Turkey Day football. Stay with us. <laughs> 